City subway says the MTA struggles to lure riders back. In the span of just eight hours, there were three separate attacks. This is video of just one of the assaults. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller has more on the attacks and the concerns they continue to cause. That deadly attack was caught on camera. Security camera footage shows the victim wrestle with his attacker. The 38-year-old man stabbed multiple times in the back died at St. Barnabas Hospital this morning. Police say it happened around 8.30 p.m. Thursday on the 4 train platform at the 176th Street Station in Morris Heights. And it was unprovoked, they say. Riders were on alert. It's really not safe. If you look at the whole situation, uh, we might need more police presence here more often. The most I can do different is basically just be a little bit more vigilant than usual. But I'm not surprised. It was the third attack of the day in the subway with incidents in the Bronx, Brooklyn, and Manhattan. In Harlem, a man was stabbed in the back at the 125th Street A train station just after 1 p.m. Police believe this started with an argument between two strangers, possibly after a harmless bump on the platform. The victim was hospitalized and said to be in stable condition. And in Brooklyn, more NYPD video of a man on a moped who they say followed a 45-year-old man to the subway at Pitkin and Grant Avenues in East New York. The victim slashed across the face at the turnstile for the A-train. The slashing required stitches. The homicide in the Bronx brings the total number of people killed in the transit system this year to seven. And it was the city's second fatal subway stabbing in less than a week. All this as ridership remains stuck at just 60% of what it was before the pandemic. The MTA is trying to lure riders back, but can they keep them safe?